Welcome. My name is Brittany A. Joy and I'm so happy you're here today. You know why? Because there's hundreds of videos out there and you chose this one. Thank you. <laughs> you know why you chose it? Because you're looking for a bargain. You have a dog or a cat and you don't want to spend all of that money to get stuff for them. Trust me, I didn't either. I went on a hunt to find beautiful dog things from the stores that you would consider your discount stores or your bargain stores. You know, the ones that have the commercials on every five seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those. So I went on a journey to find the best deals and I'm gonna share it with you so that way you don't have to spend that extra coin anytime soon, okay? I went to all of them before going to a Petco or a PetSmart. So the first place I started was Home Goods. Now, Home Goods had some beautiful stuff. I would definitely say it's probably like my favorite. They had so many beautiful options, whether it was the toys or the dog bowls. They had some really nice things there. Yeah, the leashes are what? Only $7, okay. And this is girly enough for me, but not too girly for him. Should I get that? It looks nice and clear they've got a lot of assortment of it but you're right since i am in the city my mom's shutting down my toy idea she says he needs a cuddle buddy but i think that he'll just hump it but she says he's not humping yet so he needs something soft that he can be with that'll be just like his litter mates you like this one what is it i don't know but it's soft i can definitely say i found some beautiful stuff including a gate they didn't have gates that were wide enough that I needed. So I had to get two of them just to make it long enough and wrap around to create a nice little space for my dog. Since he's just a puppy, I can't have him having whole hallways just yet. He just has his corner, Kona's corner. That's it. <laughs> but the gate was so gorgeous. I just didn't want to have to lift it. I couldn't find a replacement at any of the other stores. So I ended up getting it and I was a little disappointed, but once I got it home, it's cute. So some of the other things that we got while I was over there is one that I actually really like is a crate. Like you can carry it on your shoulder. So I think that'll be really nice. And a little bin to put his stuff in. After Home Goods, we went to Ross. Now, you guys, I'm sure you hear a lot of commercials about Ross and they talk about their clothes. There's a reason they don't talk about their pet section. It was tragic. It was, it was really tragic. Like, there was even a toy in there that belonged in the baby section and it was just mixed in with the dog toys just because. There was a playpen that I found that I was gonna look into. I wanted to get a playpen for the dog. And this one was open already. So I was a little questionable about it, but the fact that it was only 20 something dollars, I'm like, all right, I'll, you know, I'll get it. If he likes it, cool. If he doesn't, then I don't really have to keep it. I made sure I told the lady at the checkout that uh, <laughs> this is open because I wanted to get, I, Low key, I told her that it was open and that I, I was gonna tell her I saw a smudge on it because I, I wanted to get a discount. Now, I'm, I'm not lying about the smudge. There was a smudge on it, but she didn't seem like a, um, somebody who wanted to bargain with me. She just, she just wrote on the receipt that the box was already open and if I wanted to return it, that was an option. Now, I did not go forth with said option because as soon as I put the playpen out for the dog, he uh, he peed in it. Yeah. That thing ain't going back. It, it's staying with me for now. And I found another smudge. <sighs> Wish I had found the smudge before I put his little pee pee butt in there. Craziness. So I would not advise Ross at all. That, mm -mm. even if you're in a good neighborhood, I don't think that they're going to 
gonna have a good dog section for you because we were in definitely, definitely suburbia, like a beautiful shopping area, suburbia. And mm -mm, that, that Ross was ghetto. At least the pet section was, it was ghetto. Mm -mm. Don't do it, don't do it. But afterwards, I went to Marshall's. Oh, honey. Honey, why have I been asleep for so long? <laughs> Didn't expect to find so many good things. But I'm getting them. Marshalls had some beautiful things in that home decor section, which I would never think of Marshalls home decor at all. I think because they have home goods under the same umbrella, that's why they have some good stuff mixed up in there. But that store was just so pretty. I wish I had taken just a whole surrounding view of how that store was looking because I definitely got myself some clothes and a couple little things for the house. And I even visited the Marshalls over here by my house. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I loved it. So I'm putting Home Goods and Marshalls right there at the top. You definitely want to take a trip to Marshalls if you want to find some good stuff because they're going to have it. They're definitely going to have what you're looking for. I found a gorgeous bed and I loved it so much. I got two of them because I know that the dog is going to mess one up and I'm going to have to wash the other or I'm going to want to have one in the bedroom, one in the living room and have them in different areas. Of course, he cannot take advantage of that right now because he's too small and too messy. But when he can, baby's going to be living in luxury. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> already loving the options that are here in Marshalls. They have so many little cute plushy toys. A nice aisle right there. You can get the best of the best with the shampoos. This one right here is good for puppies. So I think I just want to get that. Boom. Taking it for myself. While we were out there, we even took a little pit stop in a neighborhood pet store that was kind of high end. And you can really tell because they didn't have any prices listed. I was looking at a brush because the brush looked really nice, but uh, the brush had no price. And anything that is priceless is not priceless. It ain't free for you. That just means it's gonna cost more and they're gonna make up the price based off of what you look like. Okay. <laughs> so we left shortly after just having a brief conversation with the lady and I did not even record anything in there because there was nothing to record. Yeah, it had some pretty stuff, but uh, uh, pretty pricey is what I think because they all the food they had, gourmet. Ain't no puppy getting some gourmet stuff straight off the bat. <laughs> okay. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't do it. I think it was called like Bentley's or something. Now, if you have a Bentley's in your neighborhood, comment and let me know if yours was different, if they actually have prices and whatnot, because that one was different. They definitely act different. Just when I thought I was done, I decided to take a trip across the road because yes, all these stores were just boop, 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 right next to each other. So we took a trip across the road to go to TJ Maxx. Every store, I keep losing this woman. Shopping. You see it. She's shopping. And then she gonna say, oh, I was looking for you. Mama. Hey. Yeah. How you uh -huh. doing, baby? Where you been? I was looking at some stretch pants, some leggings, and some sport bras. That's all. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm over here asking for directions to the pet area. I'm like, but I lost my mom, so I gotta find her first. <laughs> I'm starting to notice that all these stores basically have the same vendors. Cause didn't we just see these? And these. So yeah, but we'll just have to check and see what our options are. I literally just bought this bowl from a different store. Same price though, $3. So just found the same exact bed 
that I just bought. This was $24.99, but mine was priced at Marshall's for $19.99. One of the other beds I got was $24.99, so it's basically the price for this brand, but I got a discount. Still trying to find the right brush option. Mom is telling me that brushes will be really expensive once we go to the actual pet store, but <laughs> look at this. They have already been used. Ew. What? <laughs> considering it a bust for this store not seeing anything that is provoking me to buy it after we did all of our shopping at the bargain stores i wanted to make sure i took a trip to petco that was the whole point see what i can find first at the bargain stores and then make my way over to the actual pet store to see what the comparison was and honey those prices are no joke, okay? That's absolutely crazy. Wait, what now? This is 50 as well, but why does it cost $43? Mm. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's real special. It's got the Febreze in it. That's why she told me to get the puppy pads when we were at the other store because I paid $11.99. You know it's going to absorb pee the same exact way. Try to get a portable crate. Uh, yeah. Big difference. So the brushes definitely cost more than what we were looking at before. But this is the specific kind I wanted. So I'm looking. Wait, is that more dog hair? Why? Is there more dog hair in it? All right, I'm going to get one without dog hair. But I like that it has this button on the back. So all you have to do is just push it and it gets the dog hair out once it gets caught in there. So that'd be good. Not getting that one. Boom. All right, clean. As you know, there's some things you can't skimp on and that is definitely going to be the stain removers because I can't have this little sucker over in my house just making up a mess and me not being able to eliminate these smells. <laughs> we need something good. And this has been tried and true in our family for the dog that we already have. So nature's miracle, gotta get that. I had to make sure I got the right stuff for my guy. Can't have him out here having no off-brand food. He needs to have the right stuff. We choose a very healthy dog food for our dogs and my family. And I wanted to keep him right on track with our family dog because he is living very healthy and having a lot of energy, our family dog does. So I wanted my pup to have the same good stuff. And overall, I ended up actually spending the least in Petco. <laughs> I only really got the food, the collar, the spray, and just maybe a few other little knickknack things that here and there. And I did make a trip to PetSmart after this day to get a little potty where I, you saw I already got the potty pads at Home Goods, but I wanted to have a holder to put them in because he's, he's a hot mess and I knew he was gonna tear it up. He's a very, very active dog. So I got the holder from a PetSmart, which still only cost me 20 bucks, which I was surprised because, you know, <laughs> they can be pricey. And I also made another trip to a Walmart. Now at Walmart, I got the bed that I could use for the dog in, his, in Kona's little corner. I got his um, like little cushion. Little, little cushion that he can lay on it's not one of those big luscious beds that I got from Marshall's and he's able to enjoy it while he's still messy still living in his little corner and not able to roam the house freely a bed would have taken up way too much space in the corner and okay this hair is getting on my nerves just just get out my face get out my face get out my face okay <laughs> One other thing that I did not capture on camera that I snagged at Marshall's, they had a few different options. I got it from the Marshall's over here by me just the other day. It is a teething ring that is edible. I'm sure you've heard of like, you know, chew sticks, all this stuff, but it's designed for 
for dogs that are teething and they can chew it and it releases the flavor. Now I just grabbed one of them, not thinking much about the how the different flavors would impact him. This one is peanut butter. This guy goes crazy when he has the peanut butter. Cause it's like he has a sugar high in his system and he just runs rampant all over the place. Please send help. I'm gonna get through it, but I'd rather have him chewing those rings instead of chewing on me because that's what he does all the time. I'm sure I'll talk more about it in another video, but that I just wanted to let you know that I did get those from a discount store. So you can find some good treats there too. I would say overall, I spent the most at Home Goods and then at Marshall's. And that's also because I snuck in a couple of things at Marshall's that were for myself. I think I bought a few things for my mom when I was at Home Goods. So the price is not just all the doggy stuff. That Home Goods bill, a lot of it is based off of the gates. The gates themselves just turned out to be $140. And that's because I got two of them. If I only had one gate that solved all of my needs, and it would have cost me about, you know, 50 to $70 for the one gate at Home Goods. I just so happened to get one of the more expensive ones that had the metal and, you know, just had to be all fancy. And that's what drove the price up for sure at Home Goods. But everything else I got, that was a bargain. And even while we were in Home Goods, a lady was there trying to get the gates because she said it was so much cheaper than the gates she had just bought on Amazon and she was gonna return the ones to Amazon. It cost her about 170 for one gate. And at Home Goods, she was able to get one gate for about $50. So that tells you just how much of a bargain you can catch at some of these discount stores. Alrighty, you guys, that's my journey to get beautiful things for my little Kona's corner. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you're able to go shopping and find some bargains for yourself. Honey, save some money, okay? Let me know. Put a comment down below as to which stores are your favorite and where you like to go to get things for your dog. What are some of your favorite items that you found? Because <laughs> I need the suggestions. I don't know what I'm doing with this dog. I, I need some help. I, this is my first puppy. First puppy raising on my own. So drop some suggestions down below because I'll, I'll definitely read them. <laughs> All right, friends. You have an amazing, amazing journey. And I appreciate you for joining me on mine. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.